Hello, happy Myth Monday, everybody. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I don't know what it's like where you are, but it is excruciatingly warm here in Texas. Um, we have been over 100 degrees the past few days, and even though I lived here before, it's still taking me time to adjust to just like the heat and the humidity and everything just kind of hitting you as soon as you walk out the door, your breath being sucked out of you like, ugh, it's that hot. Um, so I'm having to get used to that again. But anyways, that's just a little um, time there to let me share this to the group real quick. Okay, so today is Myth Monday and we're gonna jump into our myth here in just a second. But I wanted to kind of give a couple of updates before I jump into our myth, just so that you guys know and are aware of some things that are going on. So, one, I announced last week that I have put together a new skincare guide, 10 myths about skincare and the actual truth. Um, and so you can find that, I'm gonna link to it in the comments below once I'm done with this video. Um, but you'll be able to find that and download that freebie just for you. Um, and it's really great just to help for those of us, if you're like me, who are just like, what is all of this stuff? How does it all work? I've done the research for you and I've put together this handy guide um, to kind of help you out. So I will link to that in the comments. The second thing is, is um, I am running for a really big goal for me this month. And I am five orders, there we go, away from this goal. And so anyone who places an order from now through the end of the month um, will receive in the mail from me a little bit later, but in the mail, one of my all time favorite products. And I'm excited to share um, this with you guys. Um, I'm gonna keep it a surprise. So if you're interested or intrigued about what is one of my favorite RNF products, then place um, a preferred customer order this month of $80 or more and a full size one will be yours. So I wonder what it will be. Place an order and see. Um, so it can, you can be a new preferred customer, an old uh, preferred customer, and it applies to you. Okay, now moving on to our myth and our topic this week. I'm excited, I say this every week, but I'm excited about this topic. I'm excited to learn more about it with you. Um, we're gonna be looking at uh, skin pigmentation or hyperpigmentation, so overly pigment pigmented, pigmented um, skin this week. So what hyperpigmentation is, is it is skin discoloration, dark spots, uneven skin tone. It's usually characterized by uneven distribution of melanin, which is that same crazy stuff that gives um, blackheads their discoloration and their pigmentation. And that's what's going to cause the dark spots and the discoloration on your face. And so throughout the week, we're going to be looking at myths um, around hyperpigmentation, which we're doing today, tips, vocab we should all know and then on thursday we're going to do a deep dive into all things hyperpigmentation what is it what causes it how do you treat it what ingredients should you be looking for what products should you be using to help with it if you are dealing with this um skin issue and to even know if you have it some people may not even be aware that they have it because they just think oh well that's what my skin looks like but it may not be what it has to look like so today we are tackling a myth around treating hyperpigmentation and that myth is that pigment lightening or brightening really just means skin bleaching and that is more often than not false. There are some shady products out there that will claim that they are going to lighten your skin but they do it indiscriminately. So instead of just attacking your dark spot, they're lightening your entire face, um, lightening any part of the face that it, it comes into contact with. And that's not really good. So 
there are skin products and skin ingredients out there that do work specifically on hyperpigmentation, targeting only those dark spots and that uneven skin tone. And those, um, I'm going to throw out some examples for you today. Throughout the week, we'll get into more of what those are and kind of deep dive them. And some of them you do know because we've had them as vocab lessons or we've done deep dives on them before. But some examples of some good skincare products that are really good at targeting the hyperpigmentation and not just lightening your entire face are alpha hydroxy acids, which we've talked about, kojic acid, licorice acid, retinol, which we have talked about, licorice and mulberry extracts, salicylic acid, which we are is good for a lot of things, and hydroquinone. So hydroquinone, sorry. So those are ingredients that you want to look for if you have pigmentation. Look for those because those are the lightening and brightening ingredients that are going to target specifically a your hyperpigmented areas. Um, so this is a real quick one today. I don't want to go into too much detail with, with what hyperpigmentation and all is because we're going to do that later in the week. But I did want to give you a little something today to go ahead and get you thinking about if you do have some skin pigmentation, if you've got some age spots, if you've got some dark spots or uneven skin tone or skin discoloration, maybe from too much sun exposure or melasma, which is the mask that a lot of women will get when they're pregnant or after they have a baby. Um, we're going to talk all about that later this week and how to identify it, address it, what are some causes of it and how you can treat it. So all of that coming later this week, but I did want to take just a minute to tackle this myth, help calm some nerves or clear up some confusion on just, you know, what you should be really looking at, what your results should be if you use a skin lightening or skin brightening product. It should really just tackle that one area and not bleach out your entire face. Um, so you can lighten and brighten those areas without going crazy on your entire face. So that's it for our Myth Monday tonight. Catch the replay if you didn't catch it from the beginning. Again, um, I will have the 10 skincare myths and the actual truth linked in the notes. That's that handy guide that I've put together. And then again, if you place, if you uh, place a preferred customer order of $80 or more this month, whether you are a returning preferred customer or a new one, you will get a free full size of one of my favorite products that will be a surprise for you, but you're gonna love it because I love it. So that's it, everybody. Have a great night and look for your tips, your vocab, and our deep dive on Thursday this week. Alrighty, bye-bye.